I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make a bazillion videos today because I had a sinus headache so bad today that I wanted to die. <laughs> it was that bad. Um, there's something important I wanted to say, and it's something that people don't really consider. Um, they take, we all, doesn't matter who you are, what skill level you are, take a lot of pictures, especially something that catches your eye. And um, you look, and uh, there may be a certain photograph that turns out to be boring, or a out-of-focus uh, photograph that you have that... Uh, might be uh, incredibly interesting, but you need to look into the photograph. Now, I've heard a couple of YouTube uh, photographers, and I use that term extremely loose loosely. They say, well, I never crop my shots. It's like, really? I mean, you're smoking crack. Um, like, the pure existence of DX format cameras for wildlife photography, for example, you know, even with a $14,000 500mm lens, uh, the wildlife and bird photographers are cropping the hell out of their shots. The point of this is is that I absolutely guarantee you that if you take the totality of your shots that you think are rejects, just the reject shots, okay, that, that, there, is, that there is within, I don't know, maybe 30, 40%, the most amazing shot that anybody with half a brain would want an image printed out of it. And as I showed you last week, I don't have the picture to bring up right now, some of the most beautiful shots I've seen, it's like, well, you know, I'd have to crop like 80% of the shot to, to extract out that part of the image. Like, you know, who, who gives a damn? Some of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen are insanely gritty grainy. You know, if they're not high ISO, they're just, you know, bad, low light, uh, not really good uh, noise processing, either on the camera side or in post sensor, or even in noise reduction software, which was not used. You know, these, what, you know, some of the most inspiring pictures on earth have been out of focus. Like, I showed you an example of this poor mouse. The mouse was literally like this, and the cat was pouncing on him. I mean, if that were a shot that you took, you were like, oh, this shot sucks. Everything is out of focus, and it's, I mean, there's not a damn thing in focus. And, uh, that shot is is an award winner. I mean, that shot. I mean, that shot. He just like, mm, it's, damn. It just says it. And your shots. You have shots that you've not considered. You've taken a look at like, okay, here's the image. It's like, no, 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 no. I, I'm always doing this with someone else's shots or, or my own as well. It's like, no, I mean, maybe there's this little portion right here that's just, if you were to crop it out, people don't consider, they consider cropping for rule of thirds. They consider cropping to, you know, remove something. It's like, well, I'll take care of that, and I don't want to crop it. I'm going to take, eliminate that in Photoshop. Or, no, I mean, don't be afraid of a really grainy or blurry image. I mean, if there is a section of that photograph, you're like, oh, that's a reject. Everything here is blurry, or this shot is just grainy as crap, or this... There are a lot of times that I pointed out to people on, like, uh, some boring images. They say, take a look at this shot. What do you think of it? Oh, that's boring. It's like, yeah, I agree with you. Now let me show you something else. And I flip over to the next image, and uh, it's like, oh, wow, that shot is amazing. It's like, that's the same shot that you saw a second ago. It's like, no. Yeah, it is. It's grainy, and it's like an 80 or 75 or 60 percent crop of the shot it's like wow that's it and uh, you need to be looking into your pictures like that and uh, the same thing this exact same principle applies yeah I used to pan for gold it's actually relaxing and fun I love panning for gold I mean to me panning for gold is relaxing it also breaks your back um, but they you know, they, they work off of uh, the amount of extraction per load that they get, and, you know, they'll move on. And, uh, you know, if there's just not enough uh, color there per uh, square meter of dirt, then they move on. It's like, well, there's still gold there. And a lot of photographers work like uh, people that uh, do gold extraction. It's like, well, there is gold there. It's, yeah, but the cost of machinery, the cost of gasoline, the cost of manpower, is like there's tons and tons of gold here, but... Uh, the percentage of extraction relative to the gasoline and the machinery and the manpower makes it unprofitable. But, you know, what you're talking about is not like a, ga a gold miner 
is, uh, you know, always concerned about the bottom line. You know, all you have to do is just scan the image and go, this shot sucks, but oh crap. You know, if I crop that out, that would be just the most amazing. And why don't you people do that? I mean, just as sure as I, stay, I, I st sit here talking to you, I know for 100% certainty that 99% of the shooters out there are not doing that. They're not actually looking into this. They're looking at the shot, but they're not looking into the shot. It's like, okay, well, I captured a shot here. It's kind of what I wanted, but not really, or it's out of focus. No. And, and please get this notion of out of focus. All the time, resolution this, resolution, resolution. Well, that's great. You know, let me point, let me point something out to you that pisses me off. You know, Nothing has changed from a 20 by 30 print from eight years ago as it has today. You know, 20 by 30 prints a 20 by 30 print. People were, you know, printing off gorgeous 20 by 30 prints with 12 megapixel uh, shots from the Nikon uh, D3 and the Nikon D7, and they still are. And while that does cause some grain issues if you're going to be cropping or shooting in low light, I said some of the most beautiful shots I've ever seen. There are some award-winning photographers, and every damn shot that they do is grainy. As I mean, just it is just it is so grainy that uh, you know, oh my God, it's like sandpapering your eyeballs. The shots are so, but they're beautiful. They're powerful. They speak. And so you know, they, way too many people are resolution sluts. I mean, that, there ought to be a name for these type of people. Resolution sluts, RSers. Oh, that's an RSer. Look into your shot next time you think it's a reject. You know, it's like, well, if I crop 30% of this out of the whole image, it's going to be really grainy. As it was. Who gives a crap? If it moves you, that is, I mean, photography is an art form. Photography is not a form. It's like, well, whoever's got the highest resolution shot. I mean, is there any branch of photography that works off that crap? Is there? I want to ask you a question. Is there any branch of photography? Uh, yeah, this guy took a picture with the Phase 1. I mean, I could uh, zoom it up a thousand percent and still see like a, a subcutaneous freckle. Who gives a crap? There is no branch of photography that works off of that. Obviously, wildlife photographers and bird photographers, they need the necessity of cropping in on the birds and... Yes, that's fine. That's understandable. There's no branch of photography that works out. Oh, that's that's a high res shot, and look at it. You know, that's really really sharp. It's like this 4K display. You see this 4K display? You see this 4K display? The images off the 4K display. I mean, I oh, mean, they are stunning. But I mean, you know, okay, great. It's you know, okay. What the hell am I watching? Am I watching? You know. Well, look, it's some 4K crap. This is, I mean, it's like high-resolution crap. Really, you know? Content. It's all about the content. This is the same damn reason why Hollywood scumbags can make like a hundred million dollar movies and, and people that watch like, oh man, this movie sucks. But some guy that's working off a shoestring budget, if he got, he has the right script... Uh, you know, the movie ends up being just like a sleeper. It's like, oh my god, this movie just, you know, this movie makes me want to die with joy. And it was made on a shoestring budget by a dude that's only got one eyeball, but he like poured his heart into the script. And it's something that, the photography is no different than that. I mean, I'm all about high, mag you know, that's all fine, okay? You know, the gear slut them, okay, great. You know, better gear is better gear. And that, that helps. If you use that as a crutch, then you're an idiot. And if you think that professional photography or professional art, uh, there are certain requirements for whatever type of photography you're doing. But, you know, photography is not about high-res crap. It's not. It's about moving you, about being a prime mover or a self-mover. I've talked about these principles before. Believe it or not, the fat tattooed dude in front of you actually knows a lot about art theory. He, uh, you want me to get jiggy with the art theory stuff? I'll bore the hell out of you, but I'll make a thousand videos overnight on art theory. I've spent more time researching art theory than the rest of those knuckleheads on YouTube combined. Every damn one of them. But I, most people don't want to hear about it or talk about it. That's fine, too. You want to talk about it? We'll talk about it. But, uh, you know, look into your shots, all right? This is just a reminder of something that I guarantee you you're probably not doing. Bye.